Hi, amigas. Welcome back to the Candy Coated Podcast. This is your amiga, Candy. And I am so excited to welcome you all back here today to have you guys listen to my fourth episode. Before we start, I just would like to say thank you. Thank you for listening to the past episodes. Thank you for sharing with your friends on your stories. Thank you for taking the time to message me and tell me how great it was, how you, what you thought about my podcast episodes, how people like sat through all three episodes and listened to it. I honestly appreciate all of that because that helps me grow. I love to grow in different aspects of my life. And given that this is a new project for me, hearing those thoughts, listening to people saying that they connected, that they got emotional, different things like that help me understand and make me feel like, wow, I actually was able to connect with people because as everything, it's kind of scary. You don't know how it's going to take off. And the fact that I had people that don't know me personally, but were congratulating me, followed my page, simply took the time to say, good luck. Wow, amazing. That just motivates me even more to keep recording episodes, to continue pushing with this project that I feel so happy and so blessed to have started. And that's that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to take the time to thank you all and to also remind you, if you're listening to this episode, don't forget to rate, review, and follow my social media. That definitely helps us be engaged. If you have any topics that you would like for me to talk about, definitely message me. You can email me. And don't forget to visit my website, candycodedpodcast.com. And as always, I'll have all of this information in my episode info. So yeah, let's get started. Welcome to the Candy Coated Podcast, where we serve up a sweet blend of girl talk and enlightened conversations with special guests from diverse backgrounds. From travel, food, to friendships, relationships, and family, we'll explore a wide range of topics with a fresh and unique perspective. Join us on this Candy Coated journey as we tackle important issues and have a little fun along the way. For today's episode, I would like to talk about 20 things I wish I knew when I was in my 20s. As you all may know, I'm 29. I'm in my last month of my 20s. I'm turning 30 in September. And we know that life does not come with a guide. Maybe you have an older sibling, an older cousin, an older mentor that you look up to. Sometimes you don't. And so that's why I wanted to create this episode to be able to share a little bit of advice. If you want to take it, great. If you don't, you don't agree, that's fine. For me, these are things I wish I knew when I was 20, 21, 22, 25, 27. For example, when you go through a heartbreak, don't you wish you had someone next to you tell you it's going to be okay? You're going to love again. This is just temporary. When you have a hard day at work or you get fired, don't you wish you had someone that told you, it's okay, there's a better opportunity coming for you. So a little backstory. When I met my man, I had given up on meeting guys, talking to guys, just dating. I was pretty defeated by the fact that guys would not be what I thought. So I decided to simply focus on myself do things I enjoy. And when I least suspected, I met my current boyfriend. Our conversations flowed so easy. I felt comfortable. I felt myself when talking to him. I didn't feel like I had to act something that I wasn't. Look at us now. We're settled and enjoying life together. And so that's what I'm telling you. You go through life And you think, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to talk to them anymore. I'm really sad. And reality is, yes, in that moment, in that exact day and time, you're sad and you want to give up. But let me tell you, life does not stop there because 
that guy ghosted you because it didn't work out with that guy because it didn't work out with that job. Remember to let go in order to be able to hold on to bigger and greater things. And with that being said, let's get started. 20 things I wish I knew in my 20s. Number one, you do not need closure from anyone. Their behavior speaks about them, not you. If the guy decides to ghost you, it's on him. It's his loss. If your job decides to let you go, it's their loss. Now, I'm not saying to be careless about how you do things, but you don't need closure in order to continue moving forward with your life. You have to put your best energy on and say, you know what? It's for a reason. Let's move on. Number two, live your own life. Stop wasting time watching others live their life. We know that time is essential. Time is golden. Time is money. Do not waste your time on things that are not, you know, necessary. I know that sometimes TikTok can get a little interesting. We get hooked on. So, for example, if I decided to watch one hour, two hours of TikTok instead of making my podcast, then I wouldn't have an episode to release to you all to listen by the end of the week. Or I wouldn't be able to do work. Simple stuff like that. Knowing how to manage your time is so important once you're growing up. Number three, it is okay to go to therapy. Living in a Hispanic household, mental health is not a priority. Depression is not real, according to my parents. Being sad, no está triste. Nada más no quieres limpiar la casa. No. Go to therapy. Go take that walk. Take your medicine. Whatever it is that's going to make you feel okay with yourself, do it. Number four, stop caring so much about what others think of you. The world does not revolve around you. And not everybody's pointing their fingers. Look what she's doing. Look what she is not doing. No. Keep moving. Keep going. Keep living your life. If you want to travel, travel. If you want to date this guy, do it. If you want to change careers, do it. Whatever it is that you want to do, don't wait to get the okay and the validation from others. Number five. People are in your life for seasons and reasons. However long it was, it was meaningful. However long that friendship was, if you had a fallout, if things didn't work out with a guy or a girl, it's okay. Because you learn something about yourself and you learn something about them. And at the end of the day, just be grateful that you had the, oppor you had the opportunity to meet that person, to meet that friend. Number six, it's not too late to change your career, your style, where you want to live, or anything about you. If you have the means to do it, if you can, do it. Change your career. Change where you live. If you want to not be committed to a house and live in the downtown place of your city, do it. If you want to change your style, you want to go from colorful to neutral, neutral to colorful, you want to change the way you dress, do it. It's never too late. Number seven, don't stay in a situation just because you're comfortable. It's okay to change our mind. Oftentimes, we stick to being in a certain situation just because we're comfortable, because we know the person, we know the circumstances. But if you truly don't feel happy, then it's okay to change your mind. If you honestly don't want to get married to the guy, it's okay to change your mind. If you have a fallout, you simply don't don't want to, it's okay. Never allow yourself to be suppressed into a situation just because somebody told you or just because you're comfortable, because you're scared of a change. Sometimes change is good. And sometimes 
Change will bring surprises that you never thought were going to be there. Number eight. You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot control what happens in your life. If you can live by this, this will save you anxiety most of the time. I'm not a doctor, so I can't guarantee you that. But if you put that through your head that you cannot control what happens in your life, I can assure you that you're going to feel much better. You can't control if your boyfriend cheats on you. You can't control if you get fired. There's a variety of things. Now that I'm thinking about it, you can control how much money you invest. You, there's a lot of variables that yes, but I'm talking about my overthinkers, my listeners that sit there and analyze every little aspect of life. You cannot control that. The things that you cannot control, accept that and keep going. Because I think that if we overanalyze stuff, we overthink stuff, that's when it gets to us. And when people overanalyze, they sit there and want to take control. But sometimes it's impossible. You you can't control the weather. You can't control whether you're, you're going to get a spill on your shirt, whether you're going to fall. Once you learn to accept that there are certain things you can't control, you're going to find a peace of mind within yourself. And remember, it's always about prioritizing yourself and putting yourself first and loving yourself. Number nine, travel, 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 travel. Experiences like these teach you stuff about yourself that you didn't know. You're going to learn how can you budget you're going to learn different food culture. You'll learn, can you travel with a friend? Can you make it through the hardships of being out of in an unknown place for your first time? Can you be with your boyfriend in an unknown city in certain circumstances where you, you don't have control over, where you don't have your comfort space? So... That's something I would definitely take. would have taken advantage of. I had friends traveling to Thailand, to Italy. And a lot of times I would hold back because I felt like I couldn't do it. And now I look back and I wish I had traveled with them. I wish I would have taken those opportunities to go with them so I didn't go by myself. Number 10. We only get one body in our life. Work out. Eat healthy. Love your body. Remember... That for every action, there's a consequence and sometimes results. So don't think, oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, it, it won't. No, you get one body, take care of it. And that's something that I wish I would have taken advantage of when I was younger, because I think it would have been easier to lose weight then. So remember, keep that in mind. Number 11, you will love again. Even if it doesn't feel like it, I promise. Even if you're feeling hopeless, there's someone out there for you. Whether it's now, or it's this year, next year, in a couple of years, be patient. Focus on yourself. Do things that you want to do. And the one will come around. He will. They come unexpectedly. And that love will find you all over again. Number 12, create boundaries for yourself. Whether that's at work, whether that's at home, whether that's with a friend, a family member. We have a hard time telling our family members no because we think their feelings are going to get hurt. Coming from a Hispanic household, I felt like I had to tell my parents yes all the time. Yes, yes, yes. When are you going to learn to say no for your own sake? When are you going to say no for your own mental health? If you made plans and you suddenly don't feel like going, let your friend know. If you're not able to go, it's okay. Just learn to set those boundaries. If you don't like the way somebody spoke to you or 
If somebody grabs something from you and you will not like that, let them know so that they don't do it again. Because when you communicate with someone, you create those boundaries. It changes so much. And I can guarantee you that things will go a lot smoother because you communicated what was not okay with you and what you will not tolerate. Number 13, it's okay to make mistakes as long as you take it as a lesson learned. Remember how I said that you can control certain things? This is similar. We will make mistakes anywhere and everywhere we go. We will make mistakes at work. We will make mistakes in life. And so remember to take part of it as a lesson learned. Sometimes we make a mistake. We beat ourselves up about it. There's no need for that. There's no need to beat yourself up about a mistake you did because you learned a lesson. You woke up late. You showed up late to work. They fired you. What do you do? Take that as a lesson learned to manage your time wisely and don't be late to work. You are texting and driving and get in a car crash. What do you learn then? Not to text and drive. So remember that there are certain mistakes that can be avoided, but there's some mistakes that can't. And just take them as a lesson learned. I'm not telling you to be careless in life. Once again, be mindful of your decisions of what you say. But every mistake, there's a lesson to be learned from that. Number 14, get enough sleep and drink your water. We know that sometimes we work two jobs. Sometimes we stay up late. Learn to go to bed early. Do what you have to do and make sure to drink your water. That has a lot to do with how you feel in the morning, how you go through your day. And you know that the water is for your face, for your face to be clear, for your body to feel better. As you're drinking water, you feel energetic. You don't feel drained or dehydrated because you didn't drink water. You're only drinking iced coffee or Coke or juice. Drink the water. The water does so good to you. Number 15. Be your own best friend. Your relationship with yourself is the longest one you'll have. People will come in and out. Elementary. Middle school. High school, college, life, you change jobs. Be your own best friend. So take care of yourself. Learn about yourself. Learn what makes you happy. Learn what you don't like. So be your own best friend because what's the worst that can happen? You decide not to be your best friend? Well, I don't know how you're going to do that if it's your own person. So learn to love yourself. To know that you are your own best friend and to trust yourself before you trust other people, before you love other people. Learn to do that with yourself first. Number 16, save your money, be smart and invest. We talk about living in a Hispanic household. Sometimes we're not taught to save. Sometimes we're taught to live your best life. Spend the money. Money will come. And if that's how you think, hey, props to you. If you're like me and you hit reality once you're 20-something, save your money. Don't max out your credit cards. Don't get a lot of credit cards if you can pay them. If you can save the money and invest it in a business, anywhere that you can generate interest, definitely do it. Your older you will be so grateful that you made that decision. Number 17, you will figure it out. There's no timeline you have to follow. Like I've mentioned before, we think we will have everything figured out by the time we're 25, we're 27. We think that, oh, I had to graduate from college with a bachelor's four years ago it's too late now no 
Tell me if you see the timeline somewhere printed out because there is no timeline. Of course, there are some things that are time sensitive, like don't miss a car payment, don't miss a credit card, but don't miss your mortgage payment. But don't focus that energy on, I missed it. I didn't graduate. I don't have the job of my dreams. I don't have the man of my dreams. Focus on just allowing things to happen, of looking for what makes you happy, learning what makes you happy. I'm so big on doing what makes you happy because when you do, you learn that everything falls in place. You have a peace of mind. Number 18, it's okay if everyone is having kids, getting married. Your time will come just because your best friend, your friend, everybody around you is having kids, is getting proposed to, traveling abroad. Your time will come. Like I mentioned before, there's no timeline. Just be patient and enjoy those little moments through life. Number 19, you will feel no sense of purpose. Maybe misguided. Maybe like there's no direction to life. And you know what? It's okay. At the end of the day, we're, we are all trying to figure things out on our own, together. Remember that you're not alone. Your friend could be feeling the same way, but they don't feel okay with sharing their thoughts or their emotions. So it's okay. We will figure it out. We will figure out our purpose and we will figure out what we're meant to do. Number 20, one person's success does not take away from your own. Just because someone else is successful and thriving does not mean that your own success is being affected. Everybody's success comes in different shapes, ways of form. Maybe success to you means having a two-story house with a three-car garage with your master's, your PhD. And to me, success means be super happy in the current job that I am, being with the best man that there is, having my family and having my friends to share what I have accomplished so far. So that's it, amigas. Those are 20 things I wish I knew in my 20s. Again, there's no guide in life. There is no book. To, for us to follow, to live through. Just continue pushing, keep moving forward. And let me know if there's other things that you wish you knew in your 20s or maybe you're still in your early 20s. That's fine. Remember to live your best life, be happy, and I'll see you all in my next episode. Hi, Mia. Thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me um, on Instagram at The Candy Corded Podcast, Apple, Spotify, YouTube, and TikTok as The Candy Corded Podcast. And also visit my website, candycordedpodcast.com. As always, thank you so much for all the love, the support you gave me. And I hope you have a great day, amiga. Bye.